What you working on, bud? You know you make skirts out of pins? Skirts out of pins? Yeah. Huh. Let's <laughs> talk about it. Yep. Hey everybody, a couple weeks or maybe a week ago, I posted a quick video about making skirts for your jigs, your spinner baits, and your chatter baits. And I showed using a little jig that you can get from Jan's Netcraft that's like, yeah, 20 some odd bucks. It's not expensive at all. But that's actually not the way I started doing this. The way I started doing this is probably the cheapest way that you can do it. That's with a big pin. So today, we're gonna show you the dirt, dirt, dirt cheap way to make your own skirts for your jigs, spinner baits, chatter baits. Let's discuss. <laughs> All right, folks, like I said, you need a super high dollar big pin. Um, this is actually just the, the straight plastic barrel. There's no grippy on this. So that actually makes this even cheaper, which is a good thing. You don't really want that grip on there if you can avoid it. And I went out to my workshop and found the ugliest, grotiest piece of wire that I could find just to illustrate how cheap this is. You can salvage this. It needs to be a decent gauge wire with a little backbone behind it. Um, the alcohol swabs here, um, they're kind of elective. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, a pair of pliers are going to be pretty handy for you as well. Yeah. So what you're going to do, grab this end. You probably won't need pliers for this. Yeah, just pull that out. And then pull that out. And this you want to get rid of and be careful with because that will get you nice and dirty because that's got ink in it. You want to keep the tip. All right, that's what I have the alcohol swabs for because the alcohol swabs you can use to get a bunch of that excess ink out of there. Now it's totally up to you how in depth you want to go with this process of getting that ink out of there, but it can keep ink off your jigs. It can keep ink off your hands. And I think it's worth going ahead and doing that. So after a little bit of time with the alcohol swabs and a little bit of rubbing, you'll get all that ink out of there. And, and there we go. That's the first step done. So now we need to convert this into a hollow tube. So to do that, what I generally always did was just grab a hold of this little end cap as best you can and just kind of mash it until you can get a hold of it. Sometimes you got to flatten it out a little bit. And then it'll pop right out. And there we go. Now you have a nice hollow tube. Yeah. All right, so from your pin, what you're gonna be keeping is the hollow tube, the tip, this little whatever that is. So what you're going to need if you're going to get into making these skirts is some skirt material. Um, Jan's Netcraft is a good source for it. Um, there's a bunch of them actually. Uh, Barlow, there's lots of people out there that have this kind of stuff. And they come in, you can see this is a 20 pack. So this is like four bucks and you get 20 hanks of this skirt material so for the four or five dollar price tag you're getting a lot of skirt material and of course they have every color you can imagine and that's the really awesome thing about making your own skirts is the insane amount of options you can get that you just won't find on most pre-made baits awesome awesome color combinations everything from super crazy like look at that the iridescence on that is so cool and then you need collars there's quite a few different options in this you can get different colors um, you can get some that have sleeves on them to hold rattles which are pretty cool i like to use those as well i've never tried those on this to be honest with you i've only used the standard skirt colors but these are black um, these come in a hundred pack so again, a couple bucks, you're getting a hundred of these. That's enough collars to make a hundred skirts. So it's super cheap. But for me, I like to do some lure crafting. I like to tie flies, all that good stuff. Just getting into this world of being able to really experiment with color 
makes it so worth it to me. At any given time, I'll have a baggie full of like 20 or 30 different skirt colors and I'll just change them out on different baits and just give them a try, see what the fish like. What you're gonna do is you're going to put this back in like you're reassembling your pen, all right? And then you're gonna grab one of your collars here. You can use a few if you want it to be preloaded. And we are just going to take that collar and we are going to roll it up onto the pin like so. Now you can bring up as many as you want. If you want to preload this thing with a bunch so that you don't have to do that, you can just get down to making skirts. You can do that as well. So now you need your fancy piece of wire. And what you're going to do with this is just put a bend in the end of it that will capture and pull your skirt material. So you just need to make it narrow enough that it'll fit in your pen, like so. That's all we need to do. Just put that little bend in there. Again, wire-wise, if you, if you have um, some nice stainless or something, use that. I just wanted to show that you can literally make this thing out of scraps. When you're ready to start making your skirts, what you're going to do is take your wire and slide it out the other end, like so. And then we're just gonna take the skirt material. So these are going to come, put, they're sealed together on the ends, like the end isn't cut. So that is the part that you're going to hook, like so. And then just to be really crazy, I've never done a, a iridescent purple, blue, and chartreuse. Let's see what that looks like, that's pretty crazy. So you just hook those with your wire, okay? And then you're just going to pull them through and try to gauge when you're about halfway. You do not have to be exact. And then we're just going to slide the collar off of the pin onto the skirt, like so. Boom. Now, once you get that there, you can make some adjustments if you need to. And also you can easily roll the little collar. If you don't quite have it in the center, just roll it down a little bit to get it to where you need it to be. Easy breezy. All right, one more tool I should have mentioned is some scissors. That's not necessary for the build. That's necessary for when you get your skirts done. So all you're going to do is trim off those ends where your skirts are still bound together. And boom, there you go. That's a pretty crazy color combo. Slide some more collars on here. Show you that a little bit better. Show you what it's like with having more than one on here. Like I say, you can preload this just for the sake of being able to then really get through making some skirts. So you can, I mean, you can line as many of them up on there as you want. Well, let's do one more here. I'll show you another thing I like to do. Again, in this world of being able to sort of customize things, it's nice because you can kind of stack and make some colors that are maybe more reminiscent of a specific fish or something like that. So in this case, we'll do that nice white and then a, this one's kind of a sparkly gray. Lay that one on top. And then I have this kind of bronzy brown. And what I did with this was I cut that hank in half so that it's not a bunch of them. And then I'll just capture that and set it on top of all of them. And then we'll just pull that through. like so boop, 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 boop. trying to eyeball where roughly half is doing that through a camera is kind of hard slide off your collar pull that back through get our wire out of here now we do the same where we just trim our ends boom 
trim these ends, boom, and there we go. Check that out. All kinds of going on there. It's kind of like the, reminds me of the Kalen bluegill color grub, which is a deadly bass grub, by the way, one of my all-time faves. And yeah, just being able to stack stuff like this and be creative with it is super cool. And we've noticed a huge difference doing stuff like this that more mimics what bass or whatever you're fishing really is foraging on. If you can mimic that stuff a little more, I think it really does bring that bite ratio up. You know, if you're fishing ponds, lakes, stuff like that where they're feeding heavy on bluegills, fishing a spinnerbait, chatterbait, whatever it is, that vibration, that flash, plus getting something in there that is actually resembling what they are eating is a recipe for success. It just is. All right, folks, that's it. With a possibly stolen Bic pen, <laughs> or you can just go buy some, um, you can make a skirt tube for making, it's a, it's a jig for making skirts. And again, they're not expensive to buy. The, uh, you know, the, the actual setup from, from Jan's Netcraft, it's 20 some odd bucks. And it's nice because you do get a nicely built, you know, a little bit more permanent setup. But it's completely unnecessary. This is a big pin. This is an old, gross piece of copper wire. Set of pliers, a little bit of time, a few materials, and you're making your own skirts. Easy, breezy. These will slide right on to any of your chatter baits, any of your spinner baits, jigs, whatever you're using skirts on. They'll slide up just like regular. So for me honestly this was free because i don't even know where this pen came from happened to have it in a drawer i probably bought it years ago for making jigs and just forgot about it had that out in the building so i've got nothing in this in terms of the jig itself and the making materials um, with netcraft they have a really cool bundle where you get like 40 or something like that i don't fully remember but you get a ton of different skirt colors it's kind of like a sampler pack it's a really great way to get started in this and then if you have specific colors you want it's two three four bucks depending on how fancy you're getting for like 20 packs of these so you can make a ton and then if you're a fly tire you've got a lot of uh, leg material uh, a lot of a lot of material for your streamers and stuff like that as well so these are great and this is as far as i know the cheapest way to do these easily you could probably do them a little more ninja-esque, but this to me is still doable, but still cheap. So thank you all for checking it out. Throw one of these together, see what you think. Start making your own skirts, and man, it's so satisfying to catch something off of something that you made. Thank you all for stopping by and tight lines.